really identity diversity, you know, whether you're a woman or a man or black or white and so forth, is more um, the starting point uh, to probably bring different perspectives to the board. But actually what you're trying to do is a means to an end, get yeah. different perspectives in and have diverse thinking in the boardroom. Ultimately, you know, you want people who are, you know, extrovert, introvert, people who've got, you know, different ways of listening to each other. Mm. I mean, you definitely need a lot of different characteristics. Yeah. And I would be the first to say that actually putting more women on the board is a bit of a blunt instrument to just shake open, you know, the, 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 the boardroom. Um, yeah. I, so I'm not surprised. No, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more because sadly, a lot of businesses that, you know, have not done well would have looked at their board and said, yeah, we meet all those top three criteria. Um, but if, you had, if you'd had half the board of Rollback of Scotland women, they wouldn't have pursued this this um, crazy macho you know acquisition strategy. It's just you know it's just so much stronger coming from Richard than it, from me. Um, Thank you, Richard. <laughs> <laughs>